Hi everyone, this is Phone Arena's look at the T-Mobile MyTouch. This is the newest incarnation from the uh, MyTouch line. It's actually the uh, first one to be made by LG, uh, where the uh, preceding MyTouch uh, smartphones were made by HTC. We have the uh, standard uh, MyTouch here on the left and the MyTouch Q on the right. As you're going to see, the basic difference here is the uh, screen size. The uh, MyTouch on the left is a uh, 3.8 inch AMOLED display, while the MyTouch Q on the right is a smaller 3.5 inch, um, just regular TFT LCD display. There's also a bit of a difference here in their uh, thickness. Um, MyTouch Q, with the Q being having a uh, QWERTY keyboard on there as well. But you can find out more about the uh, my Touch Q in its uh, individual video. As far as the uh, standard My Touch is concerned, as we said, there's a uh, 3.8 inch uh, AMOLED display here on the front. Uh, colors look uh, pretty good on it, uh, fairly saturated. Um, has a, a, a WVGA resolution on there, so uh, text is going to look uh, nice and sharp as well. Up here on the top, we have a, a VGA resolution camera and your three uh, capacitive buttons down here on the bottom. The volume rocker here on the side is a little uh, little bit uh, flat with the surrounding plastic so it uh, can be a little hard to uh, find just by touch alone. Up here on the top we have the uh, power lock key as well as a uh, micro USB port that's hidden under a uh, protective cover as well as the uh, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the back is a uh, 5 megapixel camera, your speaker, and when flipping the battery cover off, we have a uh, 1540 milliamp battery, uh, pre installed 2 gigabyte memory card, and your SIM card slot. So, overall, the uh, device is uh, relatively thin, coming in at only 0.39 inches thick. Um, it's also a uh, fairly lightweight. Uh, feels uh, pretty comfortable in the hand um, due to the uh, thinness and the uh, rounded corners on there. Um, but it doesn't have any. Uh, it's not a cheap feeling. It actually feels uh, fairly uh, sturdy, uh, which is nice for a uh, device uh, coming in under eighty dollars. The T-Mobile My Touch is running Android two point three point four Gingerbread. It also has the uh, LG. Optimus user interface layered over top of it. As you can see, there's a total of uh, seven home screens. Uh, going between them um, is fairly smooth, not the quickest that we've seen, uh, but still not bad. Um, there's also a, a one gigahertz uh, processor on the device with uh, 512 megabytes of uh, RAM. Down here on the bottom, you have uh, four static icons for accessing the phone messaging browser and uh, genius button also one for going into the uh, app drawer uh, genius button you can say uh, certain uh, voice commands we'll launch it here call 611 so you can use that for a uh, different uh, different voice activated uh, tasks Going into the uh, app menu here, uh, has uh, your uh, recent and downloaded applications here at the top, then lists all the rest of your uh, applications here alphabetically. Uh, pretty standard. You can also change the layout between a category list, a page list that you can swipe side to side. Also, just all in a, a standard alphabetical list. So. Um, pretty nice uh, there as you can uh, change that. Uh, only thing really missing here as far as the uh, interface is concerned is any type of uh, uh, skins or themes um, such as what we would get on a uh, HTC device that uses their uh, Sense uh, UI. It's also um, a pretty nice selection here of uh, widgets on here. A few of them is called uh, uh, T-Mobile Mobile, uh, Mobile Life. There's uh, different calendars and a shopping list that you can place on the home screen as well as your other uh, selection of widgets uh, such as weather, Twitter, 
uh, YouTube, Music Player, or Facebook. So uh, overall, pretty uh, pretty standard here for a uh, Android device. One of the nice things about the uh, T-Mobile MyTouch is that it's running uh, 4G on the uh, T-Mobile network. Uh, right now we're getting uh, anywhere between 8 to 9 megabits per second. Um, this is at off-peak time, uh, but during the day uh, we've seen it drop down to about 5 megabits per second on the uh, downloads. Uploads are also uh, usually anywhere between uh, 1 and 2 megabits per second during peak times. Right now we're coming in at a 2.91. So overall the uh, download speed is uh, fairly comparable uh, to what you would see on a, a Verizon 4G device, uh, but the uploads are uh, running about uh, 3 to 4 megabits slower than what we would see on a, a Verizon device. Having 4G also helps with uh, downloading uh, web page speeds as well. Uh, right now we have the uh, phonoarena.com website. Uh, it takes about uh, 25 seconds to uh, fully download, um, but one thing you're going to notice here is um, the website actually uh, scrolling through it is uh, kind of difficult to do. It's kind of running a bit slow here. Um, seems to be that the uh, uh, browser combination with the uh, uh, processor um, is a bit slow with running uh, sites that rely heavily on flash content. Um, causes sites uh, pinch to zoom to be a bit slow as well as uh, scrolling up and down to be a bit uh, jumpy as well. So our recommendation would actually be to go into the uh, browser settings and uh, turn the uh, flash off on here. Um, that does allow uh, web pages um, to work a little bit uh, faster um, than with having a flash on because as you can see it does get a little bit jumpy here at times. But other than that, um, on uh, non-flash sites or when turning flash off, uh, the browser does work uh, pretty well. Uh, about what we'd see on other Android smartphone devices. Call quality on the T-Mobile MyTouch was pretty good as there wasn't any background noise on the device and uh, voices sounded uh, pretty clear on uh, both ends of the uh, conversation. Reception was also pretty good as we would uh, normally average anywhere between uh, three to four bars uh, showing. Um, we also uh, did not drop any calls uh, nor did we drop any data connections on the uh, device. The uh, included uh, 1540 milliamp battery was able to provide us up to about six hours of talk time on a full charge or about eight to nine hours under mixed usage. So overall, the uh, T-Mobile MyTouch is a, a pretty nice device running around $80 with a contract. We like the uh, 3.8 inch AMOLED display, though it is a bit smaller than other devices sporting a, a 4 to 4.3 inch display on there. But even though it's a little bit smaller, it does allow for the device to be a little bit more uh, compact uh, than other ones. As we said, the uh, thinness is also nice, uh, running in at a .39 inches thick. Also feels a pretty well made as well, also with the uh, soft touch coating on the back. So overall, not that bad for $80. As we also mentioned, there's the uh, MyTouch uh, Q version that has the uh, QWERTY keyboard. So if you want to find out any more about the MyTouch or the MyTouch Q, be sure to visit our website at phonearena.com.